Hey guys, Vinay here, and in this video I'm going to explain how notifications work in Process Street. Most of the time for notifications, you don't actually have to do anything. They basically work on their own, you automatically get subscribed to new templates and checklists you interact with, uh, you can unsubscribe from emails that come through, and as checklists get archived, you will no longer get notifications from them. Here is the list of exactly when you get automatically subscribed to receive notifications to a template so that will happen if you edit or publish the template or if you start a checklist from the template for checklists you will automatically get subscribed if you're the one that starts the checklist if you check an item on the checklist if you comment on a checklist or if somebody else at mentions you in the comments of a checklist to unsubscribe from any template or checklist you can browse to that particular template and click this unsubscribe button to resubscribe, just click it again and it will resubscribe you and you will then receive notifications of activity on that template. You can also unsubscribe from any template or checklist by clicking the unsubscribe link in the email. We've also included a detailed subscription option. So you can head over to the drop down menu on a template only and click view subscriptions. There you will see who's subscribed to that template and you'll also see the option to make your subscriptions detailed. What that will mean is that every time somebody starts a checklist from that template, you will automatically be subscribed to that checklist as well. Whereas normally, you would only be subscribed to that checklist if you were the one that started it or if somebody had mentioned you in that checklist. But for this way, if you really do want to know all the detailed activity that's going on on every checklist under that template and get notifications on all of it to your email, i.e. you want to get a notification on every time an item is checked on every one of those checklists, then do the detailed view. But it's off by default. Notifications also work with the app mention. So if you're writing a comment within a checklist, you can app mention and select somebody from your team to be mentioned in that comment. That person will receive a email notification that they've been app mentioned in the comment and they will also be subscribed to this particular checklist. Here you can see the app mention comment has come from my inbox. If I click on it, I can see the comment and I can reply to that comment by replying to the email And you'll see the comment appears back in the comment section. So you can easily reply to any comments that hit your inbox and they will come back into the comment section. Also, if you receive a notification that somebody checked an item, so if I check these two items, for example, I'll get notifications on those checks. I can reply to a task checked email as well. And I can see here that they, I can actually click on these things so I can click on the task and it will load that up. And there you can see the comment from the task that I just replied to. So you can reply to comments or any checks or unchecks and that will kind of add that as a comment in the comment section. And that's it for notifications.